Let's talk about it. As you can just see, we are back talking about it. Um, it's Loki, season two, first trailer. That's that's it. I'm a huge Marvel fan. Uh, from comic books to shows to movies, I have a different opinion on the Marvel stuff than everybody else does. Like a lot of people's least favorite Marvel project is She Hulk. My least favorite Marvel project is Black Widow. Black Widow's ass. She Hulk was not bad. Like a lot of people don't like Thor. I love Thor except for Dark World. A lot of people say Guardians Two was better than One. Guardians Two is trash. My favorite Avengers movie is Age of Ultron. I have a whole thing with Marvel stuff. If you've seen. If you've seen it, it's in my Marvel tier list. All right. Anyway, uh, we could have watched this trailer, and I know it's going to be some Easter egg stuff in it, so we're just going to talk about it. We're going to react, break down, all of the above. Hope y'all ready. I'm not. I know some stuff's going to happen, but on the plus side, one of my favorite voice actresses is in Loki, and that is Tara Strong, the voice of Bubbles. Harley, Raven, Timmy Turner, Ben 10, you know. Anyway, uh, let's go. I'm... Hello? Oh, yeah, turn on the subtitles, too. We have a little bit of a situation we wanted to run by you. Mobius, wow. Great to see you again. <laughs> What's been happening? Wow. Time slipping. Wait. Time you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix that? No. Oh. It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah. I've been pulled through time between the past and the present. Hello? If what I saw is true. Oh my god. Good king. Only one way to find out. A little good old fashioned leg work. Listen, we have different styles. You're a man of action, which is fine. I take a more slow, deliberate approach. It's really good buy. October 6th. Okay. Hey. <laughs> We're playing God. We are gods. Ooh. But how do you choose? Who lives and who dies? Make the hard choice. Make the timely. Oh, that's a cold transition. A little over the top, don't you think? I thought it was spot on. All right. Um, yeah. Um, whoo. <laughs> that was a lot. That was good, though. If there's one thing I want to add to my Marvel collection one day, it is Loki's crown horn helmet. I don't have it. It's because no one's officially made it in a good way. Like, there's one for GameStop that they have. It's like 100 bucks, But it doesn't review well. You can see behind me, you see cap shields over there. I have a bunch of other cool stuff. Uh... You've all probably seen it if you haven't. I'll show it one day. You, you, which is crazy, y'all haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, whatever. Um, but 
All right. Okay. Time slipping. That's nice. It's like, it's like glitching. That's dope. Uh, like the timely. Uh, Obi. Like it's so much Kang popping up in the background for one of the shots. It's a lot going on in this trailer, and it just. It's like. It's, it's so much. One of my coolest thing was this. That's Kang, baby. It's Kang, baby. Look at it. So he's moving through. So when we ended off the last season, so we ended off the last season in season one, he came back to a timeline where Kang had taken over. Uh, I don't know what this means for Jonathan Majors. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Loki. Uh, there's so much going on here. Like, the fact that, that Kang's picture is here on a wall with the Beyonders. With the Beyonders. Uh, it's pretty dope. I'm going through, I'm like shoveling through it right now to see if there's any other cool stuff. They went to the World's Fair to see Victor Timely, a.k.a. Kang the Conqueror. They went to, uh, which fun fact, Victor Timely is a MCU character and a minor Marvel comic character. Like he is super minor in the Marvel comics. Um, then they show, like, to save this place. Is this cracked? I don't get that shit. That shit was funny. The place where they met Kang, where Sylvie and Loki met Kang, and the Arboretum study, whatever you want to call it, before they decided to make a change due to the time, the spectral timeline stuff that happened in No Way Home, and probably even uh, Beyond the Spider Verse, because when. Loki time slips, it resembles glitching, which time slipping can be the technical name for it because that Loki isn't from, like, it's a whole thing. All right, anyway, I don't want to get into it because if I get into it a lot heavier, I can't explain it properly without my thoughts on what could happen in Beyond the Spider-Verse, and I don't want to do that to people. I've already had this discussion with someone else. Uh, I can't wait for it. I Loki is definitely one of my favorite characters in the MCU. He's a great villain, anti-hero hero. And the show Loki is one of my favorite of all time. Buddy cop show slash films. I love buddy cop show films. They're, they're great. But, uh, we got we got till October. October is coming. Uh, Marvel is doing some wild things in October, from Loki to Spider Man. And I, I don't I don't want to talk about it too much more because this can turn from a nine to ten minute video to a 20, 30 minute video. So I guess I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.